I stood among the sons of men, strong and tall. My heart was filled with enthusiasm. My life was given to the purposes of God. Upon that day I said to the Lord, I will do mighty exploits in the name of my God. The Lord came to me and he said, What is it, son of man, that you would like to have? I said, Lord, if I could only be one of those who play sweetly upon an instrument and who sing well in the house of the Lord, then I will do great things for my God. The Lord came to me, and he gave me the desire of my heart. He stood me among the sons of men. He let me play, and he let me sing. I saw the day when the hearts of men were moved by that thing that the Lord had given me. After the hearts of men and women were moved, I stood back and I said to myself, Now I will be content, for I have been able to move the hearts of the people of God. But in my secret hour, I bowed my heart before my God. Lord, you gave me what I asked for, but my heart is heavy. I have a longing for something more. He came to me again in the night season. He said to me, Son of man, ask me. Ask me again for what you desire. I said, Lord, I see men bowed low by heavy burdens. I see hearts that are broken. I see sadness and discouragement. Oh, give me the power of the spoken word that I might speak the word and their hearts will be delivered. The Lord came to me and he said, Son of man, I have given you the thing that you have desired. With great joy I marched before the people of God. In my youth and in my enthusiasm, I spoke the word and the people were delivered. I spoke the word and their hearts were made whole. I knew what it was to bind the brokenhearted and to pour in the oil of joy for mourning. While men and women were praising him and glorifying his name, I went back to my secret chamber. I bowed my head in sorrow. I said, My God, oh my God, I am not satisfied. He came again to me and he said, Son of man, what is it that you again desire of me? I said, Oh my God, put the power into my hands that I might lay my hands on the sick and see healing flow. He said to me, It is done as you have requested. From that very day, as I went to the nations of the earth, I saw the sick raised from their sick beds. I saw pain and suffering banished. I was rejoicing as I went to my secret place. I bowed my head before my God and said, Now, my God, I will be satisfied, for you have given me what I desired. No sooner had the words come out of my mouth when my heart within me began to ache and cry. I said, God, I do not understand this. Again, my heart is sad. Lord, will you please just one more time give me the thing that I ask of you? He said, It is done. I said, God, I desire to go against principalities and powers, against the powers of wickedness in this world, against spiritual darkness in high places. He said, Surely I give it to you. Now go. So I went, and the Lord allowed me to go into dens of iniquity and holes and dives where people hide from the light because of the sin and the evil that is in them. There was a day when I saw demons cry out at the very presence of the power of God that rested on me. 
Then I went back to my secret place, broken. I said, Lord, I have asked you for all that I desired, and you have given it to me, and still my heart is not satisfied, nor do I feel that I have touched the thing that you have called me to do. In my youth I had expended myself with all the things that my heart had desired. Then, one more time, a gracious and loving God visited me in the night season. He said, Now what is it that you desire? With a broken heart I bowed before him. I said, God, only that which you desire to give me. He came to me and he said, Come with me, and I will take you on a journey. He took me past my friends. He took me past those with whom I had come into the house of the Lord. He took me into a desolate place. He caused me to go into a place alone in a wilderness. I said, My God, you have cut me off from all those I love. What are you doing to me? He said, I take you to a place where all people must come if their heart's cry is to be fulfilled. At a certain hour, I bowed before a gate that is called the Eye of the Needle. There, before the Eye of the Needle, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Bow low. I bowed low. He said, No, lower. So I bowed lower, and he said, Yet lower, you do not go low enough. I went as low as I could go. I had upon my back my books of learning. I had with me my instruments of music. I had with me my gifts, my abilities. He said to me, You have too much. You cannot go through this gate. I said, Lord, you have given me these books. You have given me these abilities. He said, Drop them, or you do not go. So I dropped them, and I went on through a very small gate that is called the Eye of the Needle. As I went through this gate, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Now, rise to the other side. As I arose, a very strange thing happened. For the gate which had been so small that I must lay aside everything was now so high and so wide that I could not fill it. As I stood in the presence of the Lord, I said, God, what have you done to me? For now my soul is satisfied. He said, You have come through the gate of worship. Now, come up to the circle of the earth, and I will show you a great mystery. I will reveal to you the thing that I am doing among the sons of men. The Spirit of the Lord caught me away. He took me to the circle of the earth, higher than the eagle flies, beyond where the clouds can rumble, beyond where the sun shines or the moon finds her path. There at the throne of God, he said, Look down upon your people. I saw strange things. I saw my companions gathered around a very small gate. I saw them wringing their hands and crying. They were saying to each other, God has given us these instruments of war. This sword is my sword, and I will work against the enemy with it. I will bring the enemy down. I cannot go through this gate, for if I go through this gate, I must put down my sword. God has called me to be a warrior, and therefore I will not do it. I heard another say, Me lay down my instruments of music, 
lay down all that God has given me just to go through that silly little gate to be nothing but a bare man who comes out on the other side stripped of everything? I cannot do this thing. I saw them as they stood aside in their pride, afraid to bow themselves before a very small gate. Then I saw again, as the Lord brought me closer to the gate, I saw a man bow down low, laying down everything that he had. As he came through that very wide gate on the other side, his instruments of music were there, his sword was there, his books were there, his power was there. The word of the Lord came to me. Now go and tell these people, I have given them extreme talents and much ability. I have called those who are instrumentalists to play. But I say to you this day, if you do not come through the very small gate, which is the gate of worship, and bow low and lay before me, your instruments, your talents, your abilities, your vision, and your power, you will always be among those who will only be able to minister to the hearts of people and bless the hearts of people. But there is a gate open to the body of Messiah this hour, which is a very small gate. And through that gate, only men and women who are worshipers will go. These people will lay their talents before their God. These men and women will say, God, we will be worshipers. Through that small gate they will come. And as they come through that narrow place, hear again the word of the Lord. They will arise on the other side, not to minister to the people, but to minister to their God. I now present before you a choice. You can minister to the people, and I will cause you to sway only the hearts of men. Or you can humble yourself as one passing through a very low gate and become a worshiper of God. Then you will minister to the king. 